Hey, good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, Joshua here at SaltyScales.com. Today I'm going to be showing you four simple techniques on how to rig whole or live shrimp. Now this is great guys, I'm going to do a two part series. The next video will show you how to rig cut shrimp. So let's jump in, I'm going to give you some really nice close ups so you can get some great visuals on how to productively hook these so you catch some monsters. The very first technique that I want to show you and the most productive in my opinion for live shrimp is to hook the shrimp in the horn. So come on over here, let me show you how to do it. All right, so right here guys, you can see that the shrimp has a horn. This is their defense mechanism. Um, but what I like to do is actually hook them in that particular horn. Now you don't want to go too far back because you see this gray matter in the shrimp, that's called the ganglion. And that's also known as their brain. You hook them in their brain and you're gonna have one dead shrimp. And kind of defeats the purpose if you're using live shrimp. So what I like to do is you see this horn here, you take your hook and make sure you're using a hook that's proportionate to the size of your bait. Usually a one out, two out hook is all you need. And what you want to do is take this hook and go right through the horn here. So you don't want to go very deep. You literally want to go right under this horn guys. And it's going to look just like that. And what that's going to do is allow the, the shrimp to swim freely and it's going to make him look very natural. He's going to be very lively, he's going to kick strong, and he's going to get eaten, especially if there's a predatory fish around. That is probably my ultimate, my most favorite way to hook a live shrimp. Now we're going to discuss my second favorite way to hook a live or whole shrimp, and it's through the tail. All right, now as you can see from the dynamics of the shrimp or the anatomy of the shrimp that most of the weight is forward on the shrimp, meaning that if you hook it in the back or the tail and you cast it, it's gonna travel longer distances because it's more aerodynamic and the weight is you know, further back from your furthest casting point. So the way I like to hook them also is right through the hard part of this tail. Now, right here, above the tail I take my hook and I run it right through the center and I pull it straight out now you'll see that naturally the hook wants to lay flat up against the back of the tail so it kind of conceals it in that sense but this allows the shrimp to also swim very very freely but you really get some accurate cast when you're hooking your shrimp or rigging your shrimp in this manner. Oh no, it's a kitty fish. No, it's a kitty fish, guys. No, look at that fat belly on that thing, guys. What in the world? You guys gotta look at this. This thing has been down there eating. Let me get my pliers. Guys, I look I, I I turn around and my um my rod's been over there. Guys, look at the belly on this thing. Look at that. All right, so now you've seen my first two favorite methods in hooking a live or whole shrimp. Now let's move to the third. Okay, instead of going up and under the shrimp's tail, what you could do is go right here on the side. And you pull the hook right through, just like that. And this allows them to swim freely and you also get the great cast because the, the weight is forward. So, and it rigs very naturally. All right, so this fourth technique, it's a little gruesome for some of you guys that are a little squeamish, so you may wanna click away. But what I like to do is rip off the back end of the tail while they're alive and hook the, run the, the hook through the body of the shrimp. Now what this does is it makes the shrimp appear wounded, but it also allows for the scent to flow through the water and it's very effective for redfish. 
first things first, you go down here, you rip off the tail. Throw that away. Now what you could do is you could take your hook, just like this, run it through the body, and you'll see that it naturally curves, of course. Slowly allow it to run up through the body and out the tail, and you'll get a finished product that looks like that. Once again, cast very well. The shrimp stays alive for some time, but it also gives off the scent of the shrimp itself, which draws in and triggers strikes. Those are my four favorite ways to rig a shrimp, guys, live shrimp. If you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up, comment below, and hey, share and hit that subscribe button if you care to. I appreciate all the support, guys. Um, and if you have a video recommendation, put it below. I know a lot of you have asked about pier fishing, things like that, kayak fishing. I plan to get out on the water here soon. We're starting to heat up. It's spring, so um, get out there and do some fishing. I've had a real hectic schedule, but I'm telling you, it's coming. Till next time, guys, I'll see you on the water.